this one. So this is not a good approach to do it. All right, this is definitely not a good approach. You don't want to put it here in a widget, especially in a method. It should be called from a class. In general, the page controller and things like that, they actually work with stateful class, as you can see. Okay, so we need to put it inside a stateful class. Now, if we come over here, our class itself is a stateful class, consume a stateful widget, right? Now, over here, I'm going to do first uh, init method, so call init method. And at the same time, we'll see the difference between init state method and as well as did change dependencies, okay? So let's go ahead and call init state. Now inside this here, we could go ahead and uh, initialize our stuff. And what do you want to initialize? Well, you want to initialize this one. Let me close this, so this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna put it here actually. Now this would create another problem here. It's saying that, okay, ref.watch you can't put inside page controller as a, well, uh, initializer. But here we don't see, we have this issue yet. So let me go ahead. Yes, now we see that the in instance member ref cannot be assigned in an initializer. So we cannot do that. So as an initializer, we cannot do it. So how to work with this? So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to cut this. And you'll see very soon in its state and did change dependencies, but it's a step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to put it here. And let me remove this as well. And over here, I'm going to sell light. Right, and over here, I'm gonna take this and initialize. All right. Okay, all right, and what else? Over here, it says that controller isn't, oh yeah, that was an issue. Now, what do we need to do? So now the next thing we could do, we can pass this controller to this banner over here so that it can use this, right? So we can first go ahead and declare page controller and controller and whatever it is, use it over here inside this page view, right? Okay, now this is getting cranky because it says, well, in home controller, we are call, calling this banner, which is this method. Now we need to go ahead and over here use controller and pass controller, all right? Okay, so now it, with this looks like our error should be gone from here as well. And we have a bit of typo. Let's see the issue over here. Let's come over here. What it is? It says, oh yes, we need to put required because we already have one required over here. All right, so now what happened to initialize page controller over here, we took it out and put inside this init state method and first we have this page controller as late, which means that we'd initialize it later. So once my provider is ready, then I go ahead and use this one, get the value, use this one, and then we pass it down. Now over here at the same time, you see that, well, it says required, okay? But at the same time, we know that the page view controller over here, this controller itself, this one is optional. You may pass it, you may not pass it. It doesn't really matter, okay? But it's not going to crush the app. So now let's go ahead and restart our app. And here we go. So here we have this issue that it crashes. Now, once again, we do see that uncontrolled provider scope and depend on inherit element it was called before home state in it. So what does it mean? Now, you can go ahead and try to understand it, but what I'm going to tell you in summary that over here, this is being called and being built and at the same time, it is being built, but here the problem is my home screen, this one, let me, let me show you. So this provider, this provider is not ready yet, okay? It's, it's not there, it's ready yet, and, but everything has been built, okay? 
So this is what is causing the problem. So it's not ready yet. So whatever value you are giving it over here, you're giving something, but it, it is returning as null, not ready yet. And this is where it causing the crashes, okay? So now how to get rid of this issue over here? So the other option, and which is actually better option than uh, init state, something called did change dependencies, all right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this one and take it out from here and put it here. All right, and we can just simply remove this. Now it would do the same, but there is one thing that, well, so whenever the dependencies change and it gets the value, it would update the UI. With init state, the problem is it gets just only gets called one or it gets called at the very beginning, but later down the road, if your dependencies, if your variables object change, it doesn't respond to that, which also means doesn't cause rebuild of the UI. But did change dependencies does, and this is one of the great difference between any change and did change dependencies. And most of the time you'll find it that the change dependencies is much better than using any state. Now let's go ahead and restart our app. And we see that our error is gone. And this is where the change dependence is better than any change. So a lot of time, actually, I prefer uh, using the change dependencies if I have a lot of complex stuff or state or initialization going on. Any state just simply doesn't work. And now let's go ahead and see if we can maintain our state. So our state is still maintainable. 